Hello and welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me today on our 12 weeks of Christmas. I have a large gift bag for you today. This is the bag. Um, I've got two versions. There's this one that we're going to make today, which we are going to cut and score by hand. Um, but then there's also this version, which is the one that's exactly the same size on, on the base, but it uses the gift bag punch board. And the only difference is that the, the kind of opening flap at the top is a little bit um, shallower, which gives you a taller bag. But both of them use a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper. Um, and I've got this piece today. This is out of the same stack as this. We are using um, our Neutrals designer series paper stack today. This is Early Espresso and I've got chocolate chip here. So using our simply scored scoring tool we are going to score and i'm really sorry because i meant to do the metric measurements for this and i will do them they will be on my blog so the link is in the down bar below we're going to score at three and three quarters of an inch five and three quarters of an inch nine and a half and eleven and a half inches I'm going to turn it around and score it at two and at nine inches and I will get those measurements, the metric version, on my blog. So I'm going to fold and burnish on all of our score lines. I'm loving our designer series paper stacks in the cat in the annual catalogue this year. The kind of big packs in our colour families. And I I need to get some more because I'm running out. Um, I've got the neutrals one and I think I think some of the in colours are gonna have to come home with me, I've got to say. So we're just gonna chop away. We've got um some bits to cut off here, so I'm sorry because this pattern's probably doing your brain like it is mine. You've got a skinny little section at the bottom that we're going to get rid of. Just a skinny little bit, just that bit there. And then this piece, this top corner is going to stay, but all of this here is going. So, just going to, I'm probably not on camera here at all. I've moved my camera setup ever so slightly and I can't get used to it. So I'm really sorry if you're like seeing half a thing because um, I've moved you a little bit. <laughs> My camera setup stays exactly the same all the time. It doesn't move, ever. And I've moved it and I, it's throwing my brain off completely. So, your DSP should now look like this. We've got a skinny bit on one end, I end, with a bit missing at the bottom, and one piece up there at the top. And we're going to just use our um, Stampin' Up! Project Life by Stampin' Up! Corner Rounder just to round off the two corners on that piece. And, oh, we haven't cut up the bottom, so we're gonna cut up our bottom score lines, just that horizontal score line there. And we're ready to assemble our box. So we're gonna pop some fast fuse on our, on that skinny section. And I've got it a bit further over than I should have. Typical. Ooh. Make sure everything's square before I start. Like that. And you can see I've got a bit of fast fuse out. It will just rub away fast fuse, which is amazing. Um, you could get your adhesive remover on it. And um, we're going to just make sure it's square on the inside. There we go. And for the bottom, I'm going to put the two sides in first, and the back, and then this is our front, so we're going to pop our fast fuse on there, just like that. And to close the box, just pinch in the sides, make sure it's pinched all the way down, and we're going to make, keep it closed with our 
clothespins like so isn't it super cute uh, this one i have added a little gift tag so i'm going to do exactly the same i have got the santa's gifts stamp set which is one of my absolute favorites from the um christmas stamp sets this year this one's actually in the annual catalogue um i'm trying to think of how i can keep using it but i'm really struggling but i am hoping to find a way so i've got our little rudolph and i'm going to ink him up in chocolate chip like so and i'm just going to take our um blender pen and just drag the ink out a little bit i'm not adding any color to the blender pen first i'm literally just using the ink that i've stamped and the blender pen's great because all it does is just kind of reactivate that ink um so that we get a bit more color on our rudolph don't you can't use it too much though because it will it will pill up at your cardstock and I've got a real red Stampin' Right marker just for his nose and scarf. I'm loving colouring in at the moment. Colouring is, oh, I'm really, I'm really hoping, James will not watch this video, but I'm really hoping that he buys me one of those adult colouring books Christmas. Oh, that would be just, oh, it'd be lovely. Right, I'm going to start um, punch Rudolph out with our note tag punch. And as you can see, he's a little bit big, but I like him a bit, a bit of an angle bit of an angle like so oh dear oh well it'll have to do now i've done it <laughs> can we see what i've done you see my little mistake never mind and i've got the lots of love at christmas stamp i'm gonna pop it in in red and hope it fits because it was going down there at the bottom oh yeah there we go beautiful even though the tag is a bit pay more attention when you're doing it at home won't you now I also need to make a hole in the top and for that I've got my one eighth, in, one eighth of an inch handheld punch because the note tag punch doesn't make a hole in for you so I'll come with a handheld punch and do that and then I've got a piece of linen thread to make a bow with this one I've used our um, extra thick baker's twine in cherry cobbler um, but I fancied a kind of more natural look this time so we're going to do thread him through there we go and attempt to tie a bow this is not going to be pretty <laughs> i'll make it look pretty for the pictures i promise i'm a bit i'm still a little bit bow challenged okay i'm still quite a lot bow challenged look at that oh it's a disaster there we go gorgeous Right, I'm just going to snip the ends off. I'm going to leave them a little bit longer than I normally would. And then just going to clip that on. And there we have my extra large gift bag. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget all the links to all the products are available um, on my blog and the links in the down bar below. See you again next time. Bye for now.